In this podcast, I'm going to attempt to show you guys visually exactly why I feel silver bullion is going to be such a benefit for us long-term stackers. Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so based on the number of comments I received about the about silver being a hedge against future inflation, I think I need to add some commentary to the discussion. Okay, but first let me just say this. I'm sure I don't need to tell you guys. I'm no expert on the economy, the stock market, or even physical silver. You know, it's all just my opinion based on the experiences I have stacking silver over the years. When it comes to physical silver's movement in the future, it really is just my best guess. And believe it or not, that's true for just about anybody that's gonna give you their opinion about where they think silver's going in the future. It really is just a best guess. I'm gonna tell you guys how I see silver being a hedge against future inflation. There's basically two ways you can look at kind of determining how silver's gonna benefit you in the future. Okay, so you can follow the real technical commentary, things like data based on statistical algorithms and all that kind of stuff, and listen, you can delve into that as deep as you want. I'm sure there's lots of information out there for you to just get all the information you want technically about silver's movement and the predictions of where silver's going. Don't click away because I'm not, I'm not going into that. I think there's a more practical and comprehensive way to look at how silver's gonna offset some of the inflation that we know is coming in the future. All right, so first we, we really got to start with inflation. What is inflation? The definition of inflation is a sustained increase in the general level of prices for goods and services. It is measured as an annual percentage increase. As inflation rises, every dollar you own buys a smaller percentage of the goods or services. Okay, so we all experience that. In other words, what cost you $100 in the year 2000 cost you $125.26 today. And that's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Okay, so let's stick with those numbers right there. All right, so by using the uh, Department of Labor Statistics numbers, let's determine exactly what $100 value is today compared to how much it was valued at in the year 2000. All right, so in order to do that, we need to do a bit of math. It's just a simple subtraction. So in order to determine what our year $2,000 is worth in today's money, we simply take $100 and we subtract the $25.26. So that equals $74.74. So our year 2000 hundred dollars if we had just socked it away put it on the mattress or whatever and we went to use that hundred dollars today we would get seventy four dollars and seventy four cents of buying power from that one hundred dollar bill all right so now let's see what would have happened if we had used that hundred dollars in the year 2000 to buy a hundred dollars worth of silver Okay, so in order to do that, let's determine what the price of silver was in the year 2000. All right, so to go back in time, I'm going to use, um, this is Macro Trends, and I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to use their silver price historical chart. Just go back to the year 2000. So we'll scroll down here uh, to the year 2000. Here we are, and we see that silver was, spot price of silver was $5.30. So to get an ounce of silver in the year 2000, spot price, $5.30. So if we take our year $2,100 and divide that by 
and 30 cents, we're gonna get 18.86. All right, so we're gonna call that 19 because it's so close, we'll call that 19. So for our $100 in the year 2000, we could get 19 ounces, probably 19 generic silver rounds. All right, so if we had taken that $100 bill, the, the year 2000 $100 bill, and put it under our mattress, and took those 19 physical generic rounds, silver rounds, and put them under our mattress, and pulled them out today, let's see what the difference is. All right, so we get back in our time machine here and we go back to present, to the present. And right now, at the recording of this podcast, it's April 19th, 2022. Spot price is 2539. All right, so this is what really blew me away. All right, so we're going to try to determine right here the difference in buying power if you had just kept that $100 bill or if you had bought physical silver with $100 worth of physical silver in the year 2000. We saw that spot price as of the recording of this podcast is at $25.39. Right, so we're going to times that by 19 because that's how many physical ounces we have so times one nine equals now that's going to give us 482 dollars and 41 cents now that is amazing (laughs) if you just think about that for a minute in the year 2000 if you had a hundred dollar bill you have 74 dollars and 74 cents of buying power today If you had taken that same $100 bill and bought 19 ounces of physical silver at $5.30 back in the year 2000, you would have $482.41 of buying power. Now that's undeniable. You cannot deny that. You can go back, do your own math. So to me, whatever happened in between the year 2000 and the present, if you had continued to hold on to your 19 ounces, you have $482.41 of buying power today. Now that's if you sell your silver at spot price. Those numbers right there are true numbers. Your physical silver is gonna give you a hedge against future inflation if you just continue to put it in your stack. No matter where silver goes in the future, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. And that's undeniable. You can't chip away at that with negativity. That is all positive. And don't just take my word for it. Go back, research it for yourself, see where silver was and where silver is. Through it all, silver has remained steady and true and been a benefit for people who own it, who have it in their possession. So in order for my math here not to reflect silver's positive future you have to dismiss all of history and believe that silver's never going to gain any value from this day forward and i don't believe that's the case and i'm pretty sure you don't believe that's the case either so you know these numbers right here are inspiring very motivating and it shows me that i'm doing the right thing by stacking silver you guys know i'm passionate about silver when i come across stuff like this i just got to share it with you guys I got to show you. So, you know, do the numbers yourself. And if you think that what I said has any kind of merit, then, you know, put that in the plus column when it comes to you determining whether you're going to stack silver or not. And if you are stacking silver like I am, you're doing the right thing. And here's the numbers to prove it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.